Okay, here's a video related to aperture and f-stop and depth of field. So let's power on the camera and let's take a look. Let's set it to manual and let's take a look at this number f3.5. That number can be modified by this one. So if I rotate that, the f number will be changed. And notice that the picture is getting darker so the larger the number the darker the image the smaller the number the brighter the image okay and this f stop is basically stopping the light so the higher the number the more light is blocked and that is visible here at the lens if you take a look inside there now the light is pretty blocked and there's only a small hole in the middle now if i open it up notice the f stop is smaller that is the aperture is wider now the aperture is less wide now it's wider okay so when it's opened the f number is smaller when it's closed the f number is larger that's more visible if we zoom in like so the zooming function modifies these numbers you can't use all the values now we have f36 and the smaller one is f5.6 okay but we can see more clearly what's happening here so now the aperture is totally opened now it's closing it now we will have a deeper depth of field everything will be in focus and now we will have a shallow depth of field and only certain points certain objects will be in focus so a larger aperture causes shallow depth of field and a smaller aperture causes deeper depth of field everything is in focus and barely anything is in focus okay let's try to make an example so here's an object and now it's totally opened f3.5 the effect will be more visible if we zoom in a little bit let's say there and if i make it darker by closing the aperture i can close it all the way because we won't see anything but the object is pretty much in focus there at a distance and it's pretty much in focus close here to the camera so when the aperture is closed then we have a deep depth of field the object is far away and it's still in focus the object is closer and it's still in focus but if we open up the aperture let's see there then notice the object is blurry when it's far away it's getting sharper when it's closer and then it's getting blurrier when it gets even closer so the depth of field is shallower only here it's in focus there is out of focus and here it's out of focus once again